I'm gonna show you the best way to prepare butternut and three easy recipes of what to do with it. Now you take your butternut, put it in the oven just as it is. Place it on some tin foil, no oils, nothing. I'll put it in the oven for about 200 degrees for an hour and then I leave it in the oven while the oven is hot so that it can just keep caramelizing in its sugars. Now wait for this. This is the pure beauty. Just goodness right there. Let's get into our recipes. If you know me, you know I love a smoothie bowl. Now this recipe is actually inspired from Good Life Organic. They just have the best spices. Recently, Good Life Organic put this recipe on their Instagram and my sister became so addicted to it because it's so good. I've just incorporated the more low calorie version here. About 100 grams of butternut. Now, I put in an ice cube of coconut milk. Sneaky trick to make your coconut milk last longer. The big trick to make your smoothies thicker is xanthan gum. This is the best stuff. Now get in your spices, so good. And oh, I forgot the frozen banana. Get your ice in there. You can even put in frozen cauliflower. How pretty is this? But it's not only pretty, it is delicious. No, no, you won't stop making these smoothie bowls. They are just absolutely sensational. I introduced you the invention of the fluffy souffle pancake. We've got an egg and then whip up some egg whites and you've got your butternut. So get that in there, mash it up nicely. Mash, mash, mash. Don't forget to flavor with some Himalayan salt. Good Life Organic has got you sorted. And now we fold in the egg whites. Heat up your nonstick frying pan and look at these cute molds, little pancake molds I have. So it is like a little souffle bubbles. You've got to keep it going there for a while and yummy. They're a little bit flatter than I wanted them to be, but this with some avo, oh, it's good. Last, we have like a healthy version of roast chips, just no oils. So I took the last part of the butternut, just take off the skin, and then you cut it up in parts. This makes your life so much easier than having to cut it up when it's raw. See the sneaky trick I just did there? For more of a chip, vibe you can absolutely add olive oil i just didn't in this recipe while i prepared this i also have a butternut in the oven that's coming up for next time and this can go in the oven for again about an hour and just leave it in there till all the moisture is out now we add some delicious salts these are the new salts from good life organic they're so delicious and i'm testing out the hibiscus rose salt on the butternut. I just want to see how the sweet flavors will complement each other. But my dad and I are addicted to the red pepper tomato. Ooh, that one, we're going through it quite fast. Next time you buy a big butternut or pumpkin, trust me, put it in the oven and there are so many recipes you can make with it. I just want to say thank you to Good Life Organic for this awesome collaboration. I love their salts and their spices, and I've done a test. It really does taste more flavorful, and it's organic. Go check them out and subscribe to my channel. Bye!